Hello everyone, Carson here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about the key differences between cloud hosting and shared hosting, and which type of hosting is better for you specifically. Now, before we do get into this video, just a reminder to leave a like, subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell. And I will also leave some links in the description to both cloud hosting and shared hosting providers that I recommend so you can check them out at a special discount if you would like. And now, let's go ahead and get started. Now, cloud hosting and shared hosting are two separate hosting types, or more specifically, you can't have shared cloud hosting. Cloud hosting is more of a overarching category, which multiple hosting types like VPS hosting or shared hosting can fit into. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and define shared hosting, and then we can go ahead and define cloud hosting and the difference between cloud VPS hosting and cloud shared hosting. Now, shared hosting in its most basic form is where your website is hosted on a server with a multitude of other websites sharing the same resources as your website. The benefits to this, of course, are the incredibly cheap price, some of the plans going down to as low as 99 cents a month on the really good shared hosting providers. The downside, of course, is that sometimes if a website is using a lot of traffic or if multiple websites are using more traffic than they are assigned in your shared server, your resources might see a dip and you might have less resources. Another downside to shared hosting is that usually the uptime, although a lot of times it's way, way good enough for anyone who needs a website up, sometimes, you know, 99.99% .99 uptime might not be good enough for a specific website, just depending on the, the, the thing you're providing. And also the latency, because usually a shared website is hosted on one singular server. So even though you can pick your, your server area, if you're serving people from across the globe, the latency can see a drop depending on the areas you're serving. Now getting into the differences of cloud hosting. Essentially what cloud hosting is, is having your website, whatever hosting plan you get, whether that be shared or VPS hosting, hosted on a multitude of different servers around the globe, all synced together and updating in real time. What this essentially means is that your website is virtually never going to go down because you've got it hosted in multiple locations. So each one of those locations could serve a customer or a client who requests access to your website. Another thing which this means is that the latency will usually be much lower because the servers will be located all over the globe. So no matter where someone is accessing the website from, it will pick the closest server to them and serve the website from that server. Now, clearly, I'm sure you can see the distinctions between shared and cloud hosting. Essentially, it just depends how much performance you want. Cloud hosting or cloud shared hosting is basically just a step up from shared hosting in the performance, the latency, and the uptime categories. Basically, all it does is it just improves those categories and improves upon them to make sure that your website is up even more than if you were just holding it and hosting it on a shared hosting plan. Now getting into the differences between shared cloud hosting and VPS cloud hosting. Essentially, as I'm sure you can figure out, shared cloud hosting and VPS cloud hosting take both either shared or VPS hosting and just sync it across multiple data centers for you. Now, if you do want to check out shared hosting or cloud hosting, go ahead and head down to my links in the description because I have great plans at a special discount link down below. So you can check those out. Thanks for watching though. Till next time and have a great day.